Hello, welcome back to the channel. And this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings. I generally like to talk a lot of bollocks. Tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we're going to be talking about another dexterity game. We're going to be talking about Drop It. And in this game, you'll be dropping wooden shapes into a contraption, hoping to avoid the pitfalls that are inside, hoping to arrange your pieces in the best way possible that will give you enough points to win the game. So in this video, we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules, be telling you what we do like, we don't like. And we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not drop it is worth your time and bother today and in the future. So remember, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Hit the like button, leave a comment or that bullshit, and we'll see you after this. Bollocks! So, drop it. How'd you play this game? So Drop It is essentially a ripoff of an old German game called Batik. In Batik, you had these sort of Tetramino style wooden pieces and you'd be dropping them in between these two perspex sheets, trying to force your opponent to stick their piece out of the end of the perspex thing, if that makes sense. Drop It follows the same sort of formula, but it builds upon the basic rule set of Batik, the fact that there are literally no rules to Batik. In Drop It, everybody's gonna take a set of different colored shapes. You'll place your cube on the start space of the score track and on your turn you'll drop your piece in between these two perspex sheets like you're doing batty but in drop it at the bottom of the contraption and at the sides of the contraption you've got different colored zones if you drop your piece into the same colored zone as the color of the piece then you are not going to score any points similarly if you drop it against any piece that is the same color or the same shape then you will not score any points if you manage to avoid these pit traps then you will score some points depending on what level of the contraption you are at you'll see that there's different scoring zones the higher up the contraption you get the more points you will score you'll also see that there are some really hard to notice bonus scoring areas you've got one bonus point two bonus points and three bonus points and the circle that scores you these points gets smaller the more points that you score you'll keep throwing your pieces into the contraption until everybody has run out of pieces and then the player with the most amount of points will be the winner of drop it so what do we like about drop it so the first thing that we really like about Drop It is it takes a very, very simple yet fun game like Batik and it adds a scoring mechanism to it. We were not big fans of Batik, but we enjoyed bringing it out for my young kids to play and it was fun enough, but it did wear a little bit thin after a couple of plays. This fixes that problem by adding an element of strategy to the game. Now there's points at stake. You'll be furiously trying to place your pieces into the correct spots, hoping to grab those extra bonus points points that might push you over the line at the end of the game right so whilst it's still a very very simple game they've bought it on another couple of mechanisms that really pushes this game up a couple of levels you know so the second thing that we like about this game is that it allows you to force your players into a hole dependent on where you drop your pieces you could force your player to really struggle to find a place where they can drop theirs because where the rules state that you can't touch a piece that's the same color or the same shape your opponents might not have anywhere that they can place their pieces and when they drop their pieces in and it doesn't score any points they're going to be crying into their pillow but you will be punching the air if not their face right so the final thing that we like about drop it is this game is absolutely fantastic for kids like i said earlier my kids enjoyed batik because it was so simple but this adds just enough complexity so that it challenges young children without it being too frustrating for them right i'm not saying this is explicitly a kids game everybody i know who's played this enjoys it but my kids continually ask to play drop it they even break the golden rule of entering my game's dungeon and taking it out themselves right but being a pacifist i don't really mind that right so what don't we like about drop it so the first thing that we don't like about drop it is that at the end of the day for all of your boasting of how much skill you got in your sausage fingers these tiles generally go wherever the bloody hell they want to right sometimes it's a little bit like pissing in the wind yeah you try your best not to get that beef and onion flavored urine all over your jodhpurs but a monstrous southeasterly breeze isn't gonna give a shit about when and if you soil your cacks so at the end of the day it is kind of random but then i suppose truth be told it adds to the fun especially when you're dealing with your 
young kids, right? So the second thing we don't like about this, and this is by far the biggest pain in the ass, and that is you can't store the frame in the box assembled, right? Okay, I know you're going to be going, well, it's only just a case of taking it out and slotting it together. Sometimes it's a real struggle to push the frame together. It doesn't want to slot together. And I find myself searching for the nearest open window so I can launch it an unsuspecting old person. The trouble with being able to store it means that the box would have had to have been bigger. So I'm torn between my desire for saving 30 seconds of my life or filling up more of this space with useless shit. So the third thing that we don't like and the final thing that we don't like about Drop It is that it's a little bit weak with three players. And the reason being is that you don't really get to the higher levels of the frame, right? And that means you're never really gonna have those high scoring levels accessible. So the game really is gonna go whichever way it wants to if you fall behind you're not really going to be able to have a catch-up mechanism that's going to allow you to steal the win at the end and as such those final day relegation avoidance celebrations are nowhere to be had with a free player game right so to summarize is drop it worth your time and bother today and in the future so we're going to say yes absolutely this is one of my favorite dexterity games and probably one of my kids favorite games of all time yeah it's a very very simple game with some simple scoring and it's not just a case of getting points when you do something right you've got to avoid the bullshit that's in the frame right it's got enough variety in the box because you can swap out the colored no-no tiles on the side and at the bottom for different shapes right which means you can't go into the square spot with a square there's also a couple of variants in the box that make the game even simpler for even smaller children Right, so that's an even better bonus. This isn't going to win any awards for intellectual development, but then these sort of games aren't really designed for that. This is a 10 to 15 minute game that is extremely fun to play, and I'd recommend it to anybody really. So, if dexterity games that really aren't dexterity games are your sort of thing, then I recommend that you take a look at this one. Right, so there you go, that is Drop It. Remember, if you know it, please consider subscribing to this channel, hit the like button, and all that YouTube bullshit. See you next Tuesday. Thank <laughs> you.